All right, so we're back at the bus. We're gonna be putting in the fantastic fan today. Brianna, you okay, Brianna? Brianna's also working on uh, scraping off some stickers um, and getting all the reflectors off. And then we're gonna start prepping for paint, doing a couple of other things. Got a lot going on. See how much we can fit into this video for you guys. So stay tuned, keep on watching. And yeah, we're gonna rock it out today. There is a little rust spot that I'm going to be uh, working on here and uh, fiberglassing and getting it all good to go for paint. So yeah, we'll see how that works out. I think I did pretty decent on some of the last fiberglass jobs, so I think it'll work out okay. We also got Brianna hard at work removing some stuff. Got her shades on! there she is as cleaned up as it's gonna get and uh, in a few minutes here we're gonna start and we're gonna fiberglass it up and we'll see how it goes should be all right though I think it'll turn out okay and then sand it down a little bit paint it and you're only gonna know because I'm showing you here on YouTube hopefully well I mean I guess if you really walked up next to it you know once it's all the way done and painted you probably could tell but it's gonna be good enough for me Brianna what's the saying it's good enough for the girls I go out with. Well, there's the patch-up job. Once it dries, we'll come back at some point, sand her down, and paint over. Take a peek. Woo! So, yeah. And this should be a uh, pretty good cut. It's a terrible angle, I know. I'm sorry. The light's just beaming down at it right now, but it'll look good. Here's what we've got so far. It fits in pretty well. And then, I'm doing the same thing I used for the wall studs, is going up right here, like that. And then I have another one that's gonna go on the other side. I know I'm moving around a lot here. I do apologize about that but it's kind of difficult to show you what I'm trying to do here. But anyway, so I've got those up like that, and then I'll be able to screw into them, hopefully, from the top, have both supports on there. And yeah, it should be pretty good. We should be solid, no issues. So we got these in, just like we did the others. Once the spray foam gets in here, this little lip right here, this will be all covered with spray foam. So, I mean, it's going to be... It's gonna be rigid, it's not, I'm not gonna worry about it at all. But got either one on either side. Oh, the light. So we got those taken care of. I'm gonna clean this part up here with acetone. And then once I got that done, I have some cord weather stripping I'm gonna put underneath to level it all out. And then after that, I also have seam sealer that's going on there. We'll smash it down, screw it in, and we'll call it good.
So the fan is in, the screws that I put in even go all the way through the wood. So they hold it, it doesn't move at all. This is good, I don't know how well we can see, but you can see some of this caulk that I got up in there and then the seam sealer covers it all. So I mean, it's no water is gonna come through at all. I think we're all good on that. I'm gonna trim these down about there. And yeah, we should be looking pretty good. Do the same thing over here. And then spray foam will be going all throughout. But it's looking pretty nifty. All right, well, that's about it for now. I've got some other stuff uh, to take care of when we'll be back in uh, probably next week and uh, rock it out a little bit more. Um, although the skylight it is gonna be going in uh, soon, probably uh, over the weekend. I'm gonna have them weld the supports into the place where we need them to be. And then uh, do the same thing we did kind of over here, tad different with the skylight and we'll be ready to rock and roll with that because it's gonna look cool and it's gonna be awesome. So yeah. That's all I really got going on right now. Um, thanks for watching. And yeah, uh, keep on bussing. And I'm a little tired. We've been out here for a few hours. So got to do some grocery shopping and, you know, work on the house some more and just chill out for the rest of the Sunday. Well, my Sunday, your Wednesday, it's all the same, really. Um, but yeah, that's about it. If you have any questions as far as how I got the fantastic fan in, I tried to explain it all as I was doing it. I was kind of thinking about it a whole lot, so I didn't really know what to say in much of the video. But basically, I mean, I lined it up. I figured out where I wanted it to go in relation to everything. And then I, you know, cut the hole. And then once I cut the hole, then I just, you know, went along the edges till I got it perfect. Once I had it perfect where I liked it and it fit well, I put the supports in, I put these supports in, like I told you, just the same way I put the ones in underneath the windows. So, I mean, it, 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 that was simple. Then the screws come down too, which is cool. So, I mean, it, the fan's not going anywhere. I have the fan so that it tilts up like that. I think you guys saw so that, you know, that way if we are driving, we can keep it open and running. Um, I don't know if that's a thing that we do in RVs or not, but I think it makes sense. Why not? Why wouldn't you want to, push out air while you're driving or push in air, you know, um, just help everything out a little bit. So yeah, it, uh, it went well, it was, it was really easy. So don't be scared to do it yourself. It was super simple. I cut the hole, I put up the supports, I pushed it in, I got the caulk along the edges. I mean, it is, it's no water's coming through that I can guarantee no water. It's, it's fine. It's good. It's dandy. It's very pretty. And yeah, that's about that. But uh, more to come, more to come, more to come. You know, it's always about putting in the time, getting stuff done and cranking it out. So I got spray foam on the way. Um, I think, I, yeah, I went with Tiger Foam, I believe it was. So I'll have some more info on that when that's going, uh, when that's going to be happening and stuff. It's probably going to be pretty soon. Um, I ordered, I think it was a 600 square foot thing. I think, I think it was a 600 square foot package I got. So all in all with shipping and everything, it came out to $700 even, so that's pretty cool. But like I said, I'll have more on that in another video. So make sure you subscribe so you can catch up and stay up to date. If not, if you're watching this after all of this has already happened, well, you know, just keep on watching in the playlist because I know the spray foam will be coming up in the next couple of videos, that is for sure. But anyway, I mean, we're doing good. Uh, we got a lot of stuff done today. Brianna scraped off a bunch of decals. All the decals on the bus are completely gone. We started working on sanding it, which I'm sure I'll show you a little bit of in, uh, in the video. I think I got some footage on that. And yeah, I mean, other than that, it went, I mean, we're ready to rock and roll pretty soon here. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. But uh, yeah, that's about all I got going on right now. So thanks for watching, because I'm tired and I can't remember what else I wanted to say. So I'm gonna end that now.